Okay, we have Muhammad. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. What, do you like what to is say your to topic? What well, is your let, topic? Let us start with Assalamu Alaikum. You said Assalamu Alaikum, right? Yes. Can a Muslim say Assalamu Alaikum to Christians? Yes. It's for everyone, you know? Where, where do you get this from? Well, every scholar say that. Can you give me one? My scholar. I know your scholar. He said that. Can you show me where he said that? Yeah, he said to me. Okay, well, he said to you. Where he got it? Uh, your scholar himself. Is that from the Quran? Is it from the Hadith? Because as I know, and as you know, my knowledge is limited. Uh, you cannot do that. Not from the Quran, but my scholars say we can, we can say that to everyone. You are a Muslim Sunni or Shia or maybe you are a Hindu. What is your religion? Shia. You are Shia. Well, your prophet, he says, don't uh, greet the Christians and the Jews. If you see them in the street, you have to harm them. But I want to ask you something because I don't know much about Islam, you know, but... Oh, okay. So, what do you want to say to us? Go ahead. I seen, I seen your video. All right. You like, uh, looks like you know about Islam, right? Yeah, a little. So, I want to, you, hmm. prove if Islam is a false religion. Hmm. Okay. So you want me to prove that to you? What? Why? What about you? Prove to me Islam is a good religion or it's real religion? Because you are the Muslim, not me. Yeah, but I want to know first from you because you always. Well, for me, okay, I, I will make it simple. Attack Islam. E you know? Everything about Islam is stupid. Is that okay? Everything about Islam is stupid. As an example, what kind of God? But how? He, what yeah, kind? Of, my how, friend, okay, you ask me a question. Let me answer you. What kind of God he promised me? A lot of women with big vagina and big boobs in the heaven. How that? You know what? What this God is about? Like what? You know? Do you like to have women with big boobs or small boobs? It's in the Quran or Hadith. This is the question now. I'm not saying where it is. I'm saying, how you like them? Like, do you, do you think God, he promised me big boobs? Is that God? He promised me that? No, I don't think. Okay, Quran chapter 78, verse number 33, it says, Allah will give you women. He did not even say the word women. With big boobs. Maybe they will walk by themselves, by the way. Because I saw a movie where, like, there's not the whole body appear. You see only, like, part of it, like the head. or So maybe in this case, Allah will send you only boobs, you know. So chapter 78, verse number uh, 33, it says, and uh, big boobs, doesn't say the word women, by the way. In translation, they use the word women. But in the verse... Can, you, Arabic, show, can you show in the YouTube? Yeah, I'm showing it right now. It's in the screen. Okay. Yeah. Do you see it? No, I don't see it. Okay, why you don't open your Quran in your side? Chapter 78, verse number 33. And I can give you a link. Do you want me to give you a link? Okay, in, in can you give me Skype? the link, please? Okay, I will give you the link in Skype, no problem. Okay. All right. Here we go. I give you the link. Okay, give me a second. All right.
Yes. Okay, so this is your God. He gave you, he promised you big boobs. But why my scholar never say that to me? No one. I don't know. You know? This is Quran. As you see, this is not uh, something we can ignore. This is in the Quran. So you have a God who promised you big boobs. Who do you think your God is a promising you big boobs? What kind of God he do that? I know it's wrong, but I still don't believe, you know? What do you mean don't believe? I don't understand. You don't believe in Islam no more? Or you believe in Islam? No, because Islam is a, a religion of peace, you know? Huh. So it must be right. Mm. What does this have to do with my topic? Do you think those are uh, boobs of, be of peace too? Do you think there's a connection between Islam, religion of peace, and boobs? What is the connection between boobs and Islam, religion of peace? Which I don't cannot find in the Quran. The Quran says, kill everybody around you. So what peace? Islam means to surrender, not peace. But I'm trying to connect you, the dot because you are the one who... But how, how, how do you know Islam means is surrender? I can show you, but, what why, is not but peace? why we are changing the Quran and changing the topic now? What is the connection between our topic no, and Islam religion I'm not of peace? changing the topic. I just wanted to know if it's, you say the truth, you know? Okay, I'm showing you. Because sometimes uh, uh, people uh, uh, I will can show you, no problem, lie. I will show you. We will go there, but let's finish this one first. Why does God, he tried to say to me, or he's saying to me, if I believe in him, he will give me women with a huge, huge breast. Have you ever, do you, do you have any sexual... Like temptation when you see a cow? Cow, they have big breast. Big, big, huge, and full of milk too. And maybe yogurt. So what this God, what he's trying to say to us? There's a garden, and this garden there is a grape, and there is a, a fruits, you know? And right away he jumped to boobs. He doesn't even mention the word women, right away from a grape to boobs. Do you think there's a connection between grape and boobs? I know it's wrong. Okay, so Islam is wrong. We do not need to continue then. If this is wrong, that's me. But I still confuse, you know, I still confuse. I still want to find the truth, you know. No problem. But you about just my say, religion, because but my friend, you just said I seen wrong. your video. You actually like you have knowledge, you know. Well, you know, we we do our best to have knowledge, no problem. But uh, what you saying now? You said to me this is wrong. So, isn't it obvious Islam is wrong? Yes, this okay. is wrong. If God say that, yeah, I don't know. So why you want to be a Muslim? Why you want to stay as a Muslim? This is stupid. This is not, there's no way God would say such a thing. Because some people still, you know, say. Islam is a peaceful, Islam is a okay, follower well, of true God. Islam, Islam is peaceful, but yeah. did, okay, did Muhammad, okay, what do you think about if we fight, and after I, you know, fight you, and I capture you, I start cutting your fingers? What do you think about that? Is that is that good? Sorry, what is your question? Let us say me and you, we have a fight, and then I won the fight, and now I tie yes. you up, and then I start cutting your fingers. Uh, do you think it's, it's bad? Do you think it's peace to, you know, not only to cut the necks of people after that you start, or I tie you up, or you are dead already now, and I go and cut your fingertips? No. Okay, this is the Quran, chapter 8, verse number 12. Why somebody want to cut the fingertips of a human being? What is that for? And this is the link, you can open it, and this is your Muslim translation. Okay, I will open. Hmm. Have, you ever, have you ever, like, do you like to watch horror movies? Like in the movies, sometimes you see a guy or mafia movies, they got like the one for the cigar and they cut the finger of the guy with it, you know? Your God, Allah, he, he like that. He's a mafia guy. Is this from the Quran, right? Yeah, this is, yeah, from the early pages of Muhammad, exactly, Quran. 
chapter 8 verse number 12. I just gave you a link. Okay. Mm. I open it. Yes. Mm. So remember is it, is it, thy Lord inspired the angel. With mm. you give. Mm. Mm. Yes, all their fingertips of them. Cut their necks, cut their fingertips. What is this? Do you think this is nice and peace? And he will install terror. No. Mm. This is like bad things. Yeah. Do you like to beat your wife? What? Do you like to beat your wife? No. What, what, <laughs> I don't what, what, I don't have what? I don't have wife. Oh you don't have wife? Wife? Why? What happened? No. You? I'm still single, you know? Uh, which country are you from, my friend? I'm from. This is. It's okay. Do not. I should say. say, or. It's up to you. You know, if you like to say, no problem. Okay, I'm from. Indonesian. Okay, no problem. You're welcome. I like Indonesian people, but they don't like me. I don't know why Indonesian don't like me because you know. Uh, I once I told in, uh, somebody I don't like rice and since then they don't like me I don't know why but anyway just listen with me now in chapter 4 verse number 34 it says that if your wife she disobey you you can beat her what do you think is this true or because you know hmm. I'm not have much knowledge about Islam because it's rare sometimes I open the Quran, you know. Yeah, but this is the Quran. Here we go. I will give you the link, you can read it. Chapter 3, chapter 4, verse number 34. And this is the link, I will send it to you. Hmm. What do you think? If you ask your wife to make some tea for you. And your wife, she said, okay, like five minutes from now. You know, you scold her, you scream at her. She don't move, you know. Then you stop, you jail her in her room. And if you want, you can beat her. It's up to you. But why all scholar in Indonesia never tell this, you know? Which, like, Even which, my scholar. Which, which scholar is they your, never, which, which they is your never favorite scholar in Indonesia? They never say about this. Which one is your favorite scholar in Indonesia? Uh, what is your question? What is your favorite scholar in Indonesia? You don't have a favorite mm, my yeah? scholar? Yeah, what's your favorite one? Which one is like you like the one you like to watch or listen to? Abdullah Somad. Uh, Abdullah Somad is my friend. You know, we used to uh, we used to be in jail together. You know. He was arrested for marrying a child. Uh, I was arrested for preaching the gospel. You know? Yeah. But why, why scholar Indonesia never tell about this? Because I I don't know. I'm actually I just follow Islam. You know, it's almost twenty. Right now I'm twenty six, so twenty six years. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I mean, still we are showing you those things. It's in the Quran. So, so when you listen to this guy Abdul Samud, you know, he charged five thousand dollars for to make a speech for ten minutes. You know, this is how uh, how businessman he is in a poor country like Indonesia. Uh, so why he don't teach you the truth about Islam? Because they said we just need to. You know, read the Quran yeah, we without the Quran. Here we go. asking the Quran, them. The Quran says, "Beat your wife." Why? Why Quran say that? Well, the Quran says that. I don't know because the Quran respect women. You know, uh, Abdul Samud he claimed that this is a, a form of respect. If you respect your wife, you beat her.
Would so I want to know, I want to ask you a question. Can I? Sure, sure, go ahead. Uh, can you prove more if Islam is wrong? Or if Islam is wrong? Yes, I want I want to know. Well, Actually, I want to know. Already, already we mentioned three things to you and you agreed all of them they are wrong. So why don't I keep, keep going like we prove Islam? Okay, I will tell you a story happened to me yesterday. And you tell me what you think. Okay. Yesterday I went before you know I went to sleep. Usually I sleep very very early, like you know, uh, you know, like with the chicken, you know. So I slept early, and then an angel came to me and he have a donkey, and then he looked at my window. I opened the window. I saw the donkey. He told me that uh, God he wants you to go. So I took the donkey with the angel and I went to behind the seven galaxies. And I went there and I came back like, you know, after like 10 hours. What do you think about my story? Mm, I don't know. No, come on. Be I'm me. Do you think it's true story or I'm lying? I think you are lying. Thank you very much. Well, isn't Muhammad, he said to you, that he went to the seven galaxies behind the seven seas. He saw he went all the way to the house of Allah. All of this in a few hours at night. And then he went in his way back to Jerusalem. So how come my story is a lie and the story of Muhammad is not? Because he is the prophet of Allah. So what? God. Still, he is a man like me, you know, the donkey Messenger. going to the seven of heaven. Seven galaxies behind, uh, you know, and then come back. All of this between four hours to go, four hours to come back. You know, there's there's a stars will take us maybe a hundred year by the speed of light, by the speed of light, just to arrive to those stars. So now Muhammad he went beyond all the stars because remember the Quran says that the stars are located in the first heaven. You know that, right? You know. Or no? Yeah. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just still confused, you know, about mm. my religion, but I follow this religion. So how Muhammad, let us focus, Islam. Let us focus together. How Muhammad, he went to the seven galaxies, seven heaven, and there were seas there too, you know. And then all of this in a few hours, what do you think? You, when I said to you the same as Muhammad said, you said to me, this is, cannot be true, it's a lie. And I agree with you, it's a lie. But this is when I said the story. So how come, uh, uh, you know, when Muhammad he says same story, you are not willing to say it's a lie? <coughs> Bless you, my friend. Drink some water, it's okay. So, if Islam is a false religion, so... Uh, how, how... You are a Christian, right? Yeah. How you can believe is... Jesus is a God. I want to know but from Jesus, you. Jesus is not a God. He is God. Very simple. Okay, if I ask you, where is Jesus now? You but know? Jesus in the Quran, only a messenger of Allah. Okay, no problem. You know? I'm asking you, from the Quran, where is Jesus now? Allah save him, you know. Okay, but where is he now? in the heaven okay and all the human are dead Muhammad is dead right yes Abraham is dead yes Jesus is not why how, how many years a human being shall live So why Jesus can live all those years and not on earth, he live in heaven, what he's doing there? <clears throat> I 
will be back to you. Let me see. There's a Muslim. There's a Muslim girl. She is trying to call. We will see what she will say. I will be back to you. Okay. I will call you just to give you time to think. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. From Indonesia. I don't know if he's still there. We promise him to call him back. Yes, Hello? yes, my friend. I apologize. It took me long to go to get back to you. So Sorry. What, uh, so what do, I you, have what do you think? What do you think? You were listening to this conversation with me and with some Muslims. Uh, sorry, I after mute YouTube. Are you muted? What do you want to say? I'm saying, did you hear the Muslims who called me just a few minutes ago? Yes. Okay. What do you uh, think about those from Muslims? Sunni. No, yeah. I don't like Sunni. You don't like Sunni. Yes. Okay, let me ask you, did you see the, the video of the Sheikh who said that Muslim Sunni they are homosexual because Allah, he don't protect their anus? Did you see the video? Mm, no. Well, he said in the I video, don't... I can show you the video actually. He said in the video okay. that, that uh, Muslim Sunni, because they are not Shia, huh? when they are born, uh, their shaitan will come to them. And shaitan come to everybody. But because they are not Shia, uh, the Allah will not protect their anus. Is is that from Quran? No, this is from the hadith. from the hadith. Yeah, from the hadith. Jafar, Jafar, Imam Jafar said that. Jafar, this is from the okay. this descendant of your prophet. So he said because they are not Shia, uh, Shaitan he plays his finger in their anus and he make them homosexual. What do you think? I think uh, it's wrong, right? Yeah, but you are Shia. Yes. And he is but, a Shia Sheikh. This is Shia books teaching. But my scholar never, you know, teach me more. Like you said right now, they never talk about this. They just, you know, talk in the masjid. Hmm. Well, let me let me show you the video so you can see with me how the sheikh he explained and then you know how Shia they dress right you know how they dress so you know for sure yes. this is a Shia and his name is Yasser al Habib he's a very famous sheikh big sheikh big sheikh big like you know very very big you know it's like five hundred kilograms so okay the, so he was explaining what happened to you if you are not Shia so you are safe by the way you are not a homosexual because you are Shia obviously according to the story. So listen carefully what he said. Okay. Time of, uh, uh, you know, his mother giving birth to him. Is this English, right? Listen. Okay. One of the no. sa one of the satans he will be exist in the time of giving birth for this new infant. This is a must. Okay. Go ahead. فإن علم الله أنه من شيعتنا إن علم الله أن هذا المولود من شيعتنا حجبه من ذلك الشيطان. If Allah knew, which is very funny. I mean, so Allah do not know. I thought Allah is the one who decide if he will be Shia or Sunni. So if Allah he knew that this baby or new baby, newborn baby, he is going to be a Shia, Allah will hide him from Shaitan. That's it. The shaitan who is there, yes, he is in the, in the room, but because he is Shia, Allah will hide him. Okay. Allah will put a veil on him so shaitan cannot see him. So shaitan, when Allah he hide this baby because he's a Shia, that's why Allah protect him. Shaitan cannot punish him and he cannot do harm to him. وَإِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ مِنْ شِيَعَتِنَا And if he is not a Shia, أَثْبَتَ الشَّيْطَانُ إِصْبَعَهُ السَّبَّابَةَ فِي دُبُرِهِ 
And then if he is not a Shia, which means a Muslim Sunni like Abu Bakr, uh, Omar, all those Muslim Sunni, you see them in YouTube, Allah will make the Shaitan put his finger in their anus. And that will make him a gay. Okay, so you heard this. What do you think, my friend? This is your sheikhs teaching in TV, and you are a Shia, that all Muslim Sunni are homosexual, and the reason, because they are Sunni. And the reason they are homosexual, when they are born, shaitan, he put his finger in their anus. What do you think? Yeah. This is wrong. This is wrong. So why you don't want to leave Islam? I mean, why, what, what make you stay as a Muslim? I don't know. Shouldn't you say I'm out of because Islam Because right I'm still, you know, confused. And also, it's hard for me to leave Islam, you know. Why? Because my family, my friend, they will hate me. So what? And let my family. It's hard. Let me, you, know, you, know, you know how many people, including even from my family, they hate me for what I do? Because people, they will not, people, they want a normal life, uh, not to be truthful. Just go with the, with the, you know, with the waves. Whatever the waves take, you go with them, go with the uh, people are perfectly correct, be perfectly correct, you know. So many people hate me for what I'm doing. But who care? I'm, you know, as long as I am doing the right thing, and I care only to be right in front of my Lord. What people judge me with, no problem. This is not, who care? So if I am But you, I feel it's not, it's not easy for me, CP, you know. It's no, my friend, it's not easy for anyone. Who said it's easy? We're not talking about what's easy. We are talking about the right thing to do. So, are you going to do wrong for the rest of your life just because it is not easy? Aren't you... If you believe that... Do you believe that God is exist? Yes, I believe. Okay. I still so if, believe. If you believe that God is exist, then shouldn't you worry that if you are not following the true God, you will go to hell? And you are going in the wrong direction. Which one is more to worry you? My mama will hate me, or God will send me to hell. We should think about our, you know, future. Our life is very short. You see, yesterday I was a kid. Today I'm a man. Tomorrow I'm dead. That's this is a simple. And if you don't believe in this, look at the generation before you. All those who this earth used to be full of billions of people, they die already. They are they are dead and they are dust. So it's just a matter of time, and time goes so fast. And then what you would do? You will go with God who is fake, and you say to the true God, I was worried that my mom will hate me. If your mom loves you, she will love you. It doesn't matter if you are a Muslim or not. But how I how can you believe Jesus is God? Very Even easy. he never said he who's, is God and who said, worship who's, him. Who said, you know, a disciple of, him, of Jesus said to him, why you don't show us the Father? And that's it. Do you know what Jesus said to him? Do you, do you know? No, I never read the Bible and I don't know. Okay, well, Jesus said to him, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Did Jesus say I'm God now or not? So the Father is God? The Father, or, yeah, we Christian when we pray, we call our God, yes. our Creator, we call Him the Father. Why the Father? Because we have a love for Him and He have love for us. And the God of the Quran, He created the slaves. For us in Christianity, we are children of God. So we call Him Father, for He is our provider, not only Creator, and He loves us. He did not create us to abuse us and to use us. He created us based on love. So, uh, when, when, when Muslims, they say uh, that Jesus never said, you know, uh, I am God, they are lying. Because all the Bible is about that from the first verse to the last verse. And Jesus, in many places, he said to them, that I am the one you are waiting for, the one you want to see. I am him. Each time Jesus says, I am, he is saying, I am God. Because God, when he met Moses, they said to him, what I will tell my my followers, what I will tell, what's your name? He said to him, I am who I am. That's his name. That has how he called himself. Then why God have to be human? He don't have to. Who said he have to? 
For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. So because he love us, not because he have to. Do God need to create me? No. Do God need to create the earth? No. Do God need to make cloud and water? No. We don't. Who said he need to? Who said he have to? He loved the world, so he come to us based on his love. So people in the time of Jesus, when they asked Jesus, why you don't show us the God, the Father? Show us. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the one and, and, and the Father is in me? So my friend, it's not about how God and why God, you know, God, he do not need, I'm talking about our God. He do not need the human, he do not need the angels, he do not need anyone. But God, he created us to share his glory with us because he loves us, not because he hates us. But do God need us? No. And for you already as a Muslim, you know, you should say, I'm out of Islam because obviously Islam is a stupid cult. Don't you agree with me? Yeah, but I'm afraid, you know. My family actually will, you know, hate. And I don't know if they hate me. I'm still afraid to live okay, my friend. religion, you know. Uh, maybe you don't want to say life on air because you live in an Islamic country. You can text me in private in Skype later, you know. And don't worry, I, 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 feel, I feel what you are saying. I understand. <laughs> and I believe that you really are out of Islam, you know. But uh, if you don't want to say life on air, I understand. That's not easy, I, you know, you are right. But in, in, for me, I know already that you believe truly Islam is false. That's why you say I'm afraid, because you agree Islam is false. You don't have to say it, I understand. Already you did, actually. <coughs> Correct? Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm, okay. not going, I'm not going to hold you then. Well, I'm happy for you that you are out of Islam, my friend. And if did you... Did you tomorrow online? I if you're know. tomorrow, I don't know because you know uh, uh, I have 99 wives like Solomon, uh, uh, and I have to make babies to make them why jihad. You, why you say that? Because this is what your prophet said that the guy there's a guy he want to make jihad he want to do jihad, and then he have sex with all the women, and supposedly in the morning they will have all of them babies, but he forgot to say inshallah, and then Allah give him half baby. <laughs> So I don't is know. this in the Quran? No, this is in the Hadith. This is in the Hadith. Hadith. Yeah, in the Sufi Muhammad Hadith. So, uh, my friend, uh, listen. Uh, feel free to share with us in the chat, and anytime you feel like you want to accept Jesus, even if you want to talk to me in private, I will be happy to talk to you. I talk to many people in private, but remember, I don't come in Skype always, so you can, you know, but tell me in, in how, the chat here. How? How I can understand if Jesus is God and Islam, my religion, my follower, is a false. You already agree oh. it's false. Didn't you say that the Quran is wrong about the books? Didn't you say the Quran is wrong about beating the women? Didn't, everything you, you said it's wrong. When I said to you I went to the seven heaven, you said it's a lie. So you agreed already Islam is wrong. So how I can... If I want to be Christian, so how, what I must to do? Should I you do not need to do anything. pray or you, go to church just, just in ask, Indonesia? First, or? first you, you, you denounce Islam, the devil. You denounce the devil that you, don't, you will not follow him. You will not follow any pagan cult like Islam. And you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and as your Lord. And you pray to him. Speak to him from your heart. There is no need to do certain rituals. There is no, and when you are ready, read the Bible. When you are ready, you can go to any church and you can do it without telling people, you know, just in between you and the, and the, and the, and the minister in that church and get baptized. And that's it. I right? should hide this or huh? I should tell this to my parents, my family, you know? It's up to you. This is your business, what you do. But uh, you accept Jesus in your heart. 
you pray to Jesus, you reject Islam, you reject the devil, you reject reject evil, and you follow Christ, and He is your Lord. And you read the Bible, and when you are ready, you can go to church, and they can teach you more. And when you are ready, you get uh, baptism. Baptism is you starting your life with the Holy Spirit, so the Holy Spirit will bless your life. So what do you think? Do you like to accept Jesus as your Lord? Yes. I mean to that. I accept. Hallelujah. We are very happy for you, my friend. I'm happy for you from my heart. Everybody is going to pray for you. And, uh, you know, if you can tell me, or uh, uh, maybe you don't want to share anything, but you need to find a church, who people who believe in the Father, the, the Son, the Holy Spirit, you know, one God, where people who believe in one God, not in three gods, we don't believe in many gods, we believe in one God. So you need to find a church who believe in the Trinity, believe in salvation, so they can be taught the Bible and you can be baptized. And from now can, on, yeah, go ahead. Can I ask you something? Sure. What salvation in the Christianity, what a guarantee to go to heaven, you know, like, Go to heaven. Well, Jesus what? said, whoever believe in me, and I will live. Whoever believe in me, and I will live. So salvation uh, is not only guarantee, it's confirmed. And actually already, Jesus, he took with him to heaven uh, those who accepted him. As an example, the one who was next to him to the cross, in the cross, he said to him, today you will be with me in heaven. So salvation in Christianity is not maybe, it is for sure. Whoever believe in me, even though we are sinners, salvation actually is for the sinners, not for the one good ones. I mean, the good ones, they are saved, but there's no good ones anyway. You know, God, he sent his only begotten son because we need salvation, not because we are saved, because we are sinners. So salvation is not a question of yes or no in Christianity. If you are a believer and you are following Jesus from your heart and you try your best to fight your sin. See, now you became a Christian doesn't mean you are became a holy man. No, you are not. Still, you are, you are a sinner and you might do even sin. But a Christian person is someone who fight his sin and he try his best to stay away from it. So when you, when you do sin, sin is like, you know, you got a flu and you fight the flu, not you enjoy the flu. You got a virus, but you fight the virus, not you enjoy the virus. So as long you are following Christ and you are fighting your own sin, it's a process. It's a it's a it's a life process. You are with the Christ. But did Jesus is a true God? Is he still of me or or not? Because well, I, no. I just say to you that the Bible says, "For God, He loved I the world." The wrong yeah, for path. God, He loved the world. You know, God, He loved the world. Not only you and me, all of us. So He sent Jesus to save us. So, for He loved the world, He sent His only begotten Son. So, yeah, you are loved. You know, actually, he, Jesus, He said, "I came for the sick, not for the healthy." So, you feel sick. Jesus came to you, especially for you. Because you are sick, and we are sick, when you, we are full of sin, we, you know, we speak good, we do bad. All of us. We say things, we do the opposite. We claim decencies, but somewhere here, there, we do something not right. So, Jesus, he knew that we are sick. And don't, don't think that because you are sick, or I am sick, or he or she, that make you rejected by him. This is why he is here. He is here to save the sick, to heal you, not to judge you. 
and because you accept him as your savior now so now you have the hope that you are going to be saved by him so you have to continue your life process following Jesus in the book of act it says neither there is salvation in any other for there is none other name under the heaven given among men whereby we must be saved there's no other name except Jesus to save you I accept Jesus I mean to that my friend so we confirm and I, I confront to you I mean to that in the book of act chapter 16 it says that uh, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved and your household but believing is to be a true believer not a person who say something he don't mean and I believe you are saying that from your heart correct yes I mean to that do you want to say anything to people from Indonesia from your heart before we go even if I'm speaking your language it's up to you Uh, makasih semuanya yang udah doain ya semoga bisa bener-bener jadi pengikut Yesus yang benar yang baik ya yeah. alright my friend I don't know what you said but I pray that the Lord he accept your, your words and I pray that the Lord he wash your heart and the Lord he will give you a new life with him and today my friend you are born again with Jesus you have a new life and your name is written in heaven you are no more a follower of the pagan Muhammad you are no more a follower of the lies of this man you are no more worshipper of sex of addiction you are free for Jesus he set you free the Lord he said I am the truth and he ordered us to find the truth to search for it and when we find the truth, we find Jesus. And Jesus, when he find us, after we find him, we are free with him. So I'm so happy for you. You will feel different. You will live different. Life and God is not about doing a ritual. God is about being a godly person. Jesus said, it's not what goes in your mouth make you clean or dirty, but what come out from your mouth. So my friend, let your mouth be the mouth for the Lord and let us praise him for having you to us today calling us and I'm, I'm grateful for the person who remind me actually to call you back uh, so we can have uh, your message delivered and your salvation today and we, we pray to the Lord uh, to send more like you and to make you a fisherman so you can bring more Indonesian to Christ too, not only you became saved. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, CP. Take care. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye. Take care.